CERN finally turned on its epic machine in 2007 and fired its first atomic shots, but the collider broke during the trial period. An enormous blast destroys hundreds of the superconducting magnets that shoot protons through the accelerator. Since the accident, it has been running for seven years at half its potency and will only have a chance to produce those black holes in the year 2015, after two years of extensive upgrades that have doubled its energy potency to 13 terravolts. It is true that cosmic rays travel through the cosmos, collide with stars and planets, and the galaxy still exists. But that has nothing to do with the risks associated when quark explosions convert matter into a strangelet. Why? Because cosmic rays are not quarks. They are an entirely different substance. 99% are gamma rays and protons, while the remaining 1% are atomic nuclei. Tiny naked atoms which have been shot into space from erupting stars. And the atoms are naked because the star heat is so intense that atoms can't hang on to their satellite electrons as they do at normal temperatures. What does this mean? When such an atom is exploded into space from a star, it will eventually collide with a magnetic field. Hundreds of quarks packed in tight bundles and cracked in precise collisions that liberate a critical mass of millions of strange quarks that are theoretically capable of starting an ice nine reaction that breaks two fundamental scientific proofs of truth, experimental evidence and the known cause principle. The primary reason physicists are doing those experiments in particle accelerators is precisely because nature does not do them on planet Earth. I heard uh, some, some uh, questions that maybe the next generation of particle colliders would create conditions in which, for some reason, uh, a tiny black hole might spontaneously yes. be created, which could be well, very dangerous. There are two questions there. Uh, so the first question was, or statement was, that uh, you've read that there are theoretical speculations that at very high, at the next generation of high energy accelerators, uh, one might produce small black holes. And that's true. Otherwise, respectable physicists have suggested that kind of thing. It is important to note that the creation of black holes at CERN is considered probable at those new energy regimes by both promoters and opponents. Many black holes could be created by smashing a proton into an antiproton with enough energy. If one were created near a large concentration of mass, and if it started absorbing that mass before exploding, the black hole could reach a relatively stable half-life and thus continue to grow. In Einstein's classic theory, black holes are frozen stars that are likely composed of the heaviest top quarks, which will be mass-produced as the primary decay particles of the Higgs boson. Modern string theory also predicts that black holes will be created at these new energy regimes. But according to relativity theory, once formed, these black holes will swallow the Earth since the industry of accelerators knows it cannot deny the possibility of creating black holes, it has chosen to simply rebuke those risks by invoking the nature of black holes. Their claim is that these black holes will simply evaporate, which is based on an unproven hypothesis that contradicts both Einstein's black hole theory and the fundamental laws of thermodynamics. According to Einstein's equations, a black hole is born as a mass vortex that turns at light speed. This means that in terms of temperature, it is extremely hot. The black hole then begins to grow its mass exponentially as it lowers its temperature, transferring its extreme heat to the star or planet and devouring it in a dual Big Bang, Big Crunch. The safety report denies both the sacred laws of thermodynamics and standard black hole theory. Stephen Hawking's never proven hypothesis that black holes break all the laws of thermodynamics 
and evaporate. Well, and you take a vice. If you could make a vice and you squeeze the Earth, the Earth has a radius of 6,400 kilometers. If you could make the radius three centimeters, the Earth would become a black hole. Three centimeters, this big. Then it would automatically further collapse onto itself. Nothing could stop it, and it would become a black hole. And you could never, light could never leave it. Radio waves could not leave it because they all go with the speed of light. Strange quark liquid will not be produced on planet Earth because it is in fact a hot gas, not a liquid. It expected to find a gas with little or no interaction among quarks and more uniform expansion. Instead, the asymmetric expansion and strong interactions have led Rick researchers to conclude that the early universe was a nearly perfect liquid. CERN installed the Castor Detector, a calorimeter that will search for different types of strangelets with a stated 70% chance of finding them. 